Hello everyone, in this video I wanted to show you how to install Splunk Forwarder for a Windows machine. So if you look at my uh, my virtual environment, this is in the Azure. So I have created one resource group that's lab. Under this I have two different virtual machines. Uh, if you come down over here and short by type. So I have the Splunk UI and Windows 2009. The Splunk UI, if I go to that one, that one has a public IP address and a private IP address. Both of the Windows and Linux machines, they are running in a same default subnet. And uh, I can go in and log into this particular machine and I'm actually logged in. So if I can do a clear. So from here, I know that if I do IP ADDR, it should tell me the private IP address is 10.0.0.4, right? That's what we have. And I want to go back to the Windows machine. And I want to make sure that I can talk to that Windows machine using my private network. So 10.0.0.5. So let's just do a ping to this machine, shall we? And you see that you're getting responses back. So the next thing that I wanted to do, I want to go to that particular virtual machine. I'm, I'm using uh, Remina, Remina is a client, where I can provide the, the IP address of the Windows and I can log in. that particular box and once I log in let's just do a CMD and look at IP config so that one is the 10.0.0.5 and I just want to make sure that I can talk to 10.0.0.4 that is where my 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 Splunk is running okay so what we can double verify is say from uh, if I go back in here go back to my my Ubuntu machine I'm going to copy this IP and just to demonstrate that I have a successful install running I can go to this Splunk and see I have the Splunk running so now what we want to do we want to send the windows logs back to the splunk so the first thing that you need to do you need to go to the settings and then uh, you're gonna go to the forwarding and receiving and you have to set up some some stuff like the here you have forwarding defaults and forward data and receive data so you want to receive the data so we are going to configure the receiving and hit add new and here it's asking what port do you want to listen on so I'm going to use 9997 as the listening port and hit save so now uh, my machine should be listening on port 9997 so over here uh, I just want to verify is it is it is it, is it really uh, net stat I hope it's available it's not there uh, so let's see is SS installed yes yeah, SS installed by default so here it's telling me 9997 it's already started listening right so I'm going to go back to the windows not this one remina client uh, i'm already logged in Hold on. here and here what i want to do uh, add remove programs i want to uh, just enable turn off windows features on and off i want to enable uh, what I want to get no 
I don't, I, I, I won't do that. Hold on. I just want the tail net on. Let's see where. And it's uh, bring it to this one. Skip this page by default. Select server from the server foo. Okay, here. Yeah. So I am going to look for and see if the tail net is available in here. It's not available. So if you're using a Windows uh, 10 operating system, you probably file find tail net and you can use the tail net to double verify. That's what I wanted to do and see that I can talk back to that particular port. But uh, this one still should be okay. So let's just cancel. I know that tail net is not available in here. Yeah, it's not a whole, it's fine. So let's try to do this then. So go to Google. Unfortunately, the Splunk UI does not work very well with uh, with Google, uh, with the Internet Explorer. So we're gonna download the Google Chrome. So C-H-R-O-M-E and So this is annoying. So what you can do if you get things like that, you can come back to the local server, and uh, you have the IE enhanced security configuration. Just turn that one off temporarily. Go back and Chrome download. Let's search for that one. So click on download. Hopefully you have the download Chrome button so then run as soon as this Chrome download is complete and we are going to use the Chrome browser to download the universal Splunk forwarder into this Windows Server 2019 that we are using right now. So let's see how that happens. Okay, let me pause the video for a second and let me install and uh, as soon as that's done we'll turn back the video on all right my installation is done so I just did a search for Splunk universal for order what I'll do I'll go to the first link hopefully that will have the download button here so what you need to do you need to log in first to be able to download so let's go to that page and let's try to download uh, login first so once you log in you should have you see this Splunk universal forwarder and this is for the windows that we are trying to download it's a msi file i'm just going to click the download now and that one should start the download automatically right here, like Splunk Forwarder. So what we would do here, we will have to configure this forwarder. So just click on it. It's a standard Windows install uh, checkbox to accept the license agreement. And then uh, on-prem Splunk Enterprise, although it's running on the cloud, it's really I'm trying to mimic on-prem environment. So hit next here you're gonna create a username and password got it then hit next here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the private IP address of the virtual machine that we were, we were working with so cmd so again ip config it's 10.0.0.5 that's for the windows and if you do ping 10.0.0.4 that is the ubuntu machine right so we're going to use that uh, ip address as 10.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
for the universal forwarder deployment server we actually don't need this one i'm still going to configure that 8089 but the most important one is the receiving indexer so that is the one 10.0.0.4 and default port is 9997 so that one needs to be the one that we have configured hit next and then okay one thing I I didn't see that is the option okay so local system okay so if you somehow miss this one go back come back to local system this is something you need to select so you if you don't select any logs then what are you going to see so performance monitor i don't need it let's just uh, get some application logs sent to uh, to splunk okay next hit next and then here we have already configured my username and password here come back so that is again receiving index here we did that and now you can start the installation process so the other thing that you need to do you need to open so do a search for the windows defender or just search for firewall so that will give you the windows firewall open go down to the advanced setting and this time you are going to send the data through the port 99987 or 9997 I already forgot let's, uh, let's look go back in here and we said 9997 so come back to Remina go over here run the netstat command one more time just make sure that it's running so if I do netstat 9997 it should be running so what we are going to do in here uh, for outbound rule we're going to create a new rule select port uh, so TCP specific is 9997 hit next I'm going to allow this connection hit next all of that is selected is fine this is 9997 Plunk. that's all I am going to say and there you go I have a allow rule that I've just added to my firewall okay so with that setup uh, this installation is done I'm gonna click on finish and let's see what is going on with the Splunk okay so over here I'm gonna go over there and go to charge and see if I have anything coming up. So, sorry, search and reporting is what I wanted to click on. Uh, skip. And let's just do 10.0.0.5. .0 .0 let's see if anything has come. Nothing has come yet. So, the other thing that I wanted to do, uh, take a quick look at, go to go over here then add data uh, let's see if there's something showed up under the forward so what if I click on forward let's see if yeah so you see now it says available host is uh, this particular host now new server class so you can put this server in a particular group so here say my windows box okay so now what I can do I can uh, hit next and uh, select an option so here let me think for a second which one to choose okay I'm gonna go with the local event logs in here so I'm just gonna collect event logs from the machine this one and here it's telling these are all applicable logs that I can have I'm just gonna select and say yeah get all of them and hit next uh, input setting uh, I'm just gonna go with the default setting 
and then go to review so list of forwarders there's only one under the server class name that we created and these are the kind of logs that we are getting application forwarded event security setup and system and then I can submit and that should give us some logs that we should be able to start dealing with so here there we go so now it automatically showed up as source win event logs and you see I have almost eight pages of logs that got imported so in this video what you have learned how to install a Splunk forwarder to a Windows 2019 it should be very similar to any other type of Windows and then how to open the firewall on port 9997 how to come to Splunk and configure your forwarding and receiving ports really here we have used the receiving port and configured our port number right uh, con uh, reconfigure receiving and then uh, once the receiving uh, is ready you just go back and uh, add the data go to add data and from there you go to the forward and the data source that you have added we selected and we imported the data to this plan if you like the video please give me a like subscribe and uh, have a wonderful day. Thank you.